Hey everybody, I'm Megan Hatcher Mays and I am the Director of Democracy Policy here at Indivisible. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in to our first ever Impeachment Daily. Uh, we thought about calling it Crime Time on account of all of the crimes that are going on, but we landed on Impeachment Daily because we think there's going to be plenty of talk about to talk about in this space uh, every single day. So the goal of Impeachment Daily is to keep you posted on what is going on every day, uh, to let you know what we think is going to happen, what we think is going to happen next, and to keep you posted on what different activities you can do to stay involved in this fight. So let's start about what we know. We know that Donald Trump committed a bunch of crimes. Uh, most recently, he asked the president of Ukraine to dig up dirt on a political opponent uh, in exchange for about $400 million in aid. Now that is also known as an illegal quid pro quo. So not ideal. He then went on camera and said that the, in fact this conversation had taken place so he has admitted to doing it on camera. Also not great, not too smart. But uh, what happened as a result of that is that Speaker Pelosi finally came out in favor of a formal impeachment inquiry, which is great. Uh, we know that while most members are going to be going on recess over the next couple of weeks, House Intelligence Committee is going to be staying here in D.C. and working through some of the impeachment articles. Now, we think that it's starting with this committee because the revelations from Ukraine are going to be kind of a center point of or a centerpiece of the impeachment articles. Uh, but we still think that some of the other committees in the House who have already investigated a bunch of Trump's corruption are still going to refer some of the most salacious crimes to a House judiciary, and then that committee is going to be the one that actually drafts the articles of impeachment and puts it forward for a vote in the House. We think that the articles are going to be made public sometime around Thanksgiving, and we think there very well could be a vote on those articles right around that same time. So keep an eye on that. Over the next two weeks, your members are going to want to hear from you from this, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, so here's the latest and greatest. This all just happened within the last like 24 hours or so. So we're trying to drink from a fire hose here. <laughs> but here's what has gone on. Uh, it's not just Trump who is implicated in this Ukraine uh, kerfuffle. It's also Mike Pence. We found out that Mike Pence apparently had knowledge of what had been discussed on this call and that Trump asked Pence to exert pressure on Ukraine as well in exchange for the aid. Not great. It's also uh, come to light that the current Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, was in fact himself on the call with uh, the Ukrainian president and that he played dumb about it for a couple of days but finally admitted it uh, just yesterday, he was in fact on the call and knew that this had taken place. Not good. Starting to look a little bit like a crime syndicate here. Uh, meanwhile, Rudy Giuliani continues to embarrass himself on television and in front of members of Congress. You do love to see that. And finally, uh, the plot thickens because in addition to asking Ukraine to uh, dig up dirt on the, on the Bidens, his political opponents, Trump apparently also reached out to Great Britain. Australia, and then today from the White House lawn, he asked China to get involved as well. So truly, this man cannot stop committing crimes, but that's why we're here. So here's how you can take action. Over the next couple of weeks, uh, we're going to want folks to go out into their districts and, and talk to their members about impeachment. You can go to impeachnow.org and you can find events, toolkits, other resources so you know what to say when you're talking to your members. You should be talking to Democrats and Republicans about this issue because it's time for Republicans to show up to this fight as well. So, thank you so much. This works best, by the way, if you send me questions. I want to be able to um, answer your questions or talk about some of your concerns on Impeachment Daily. That's what this is for. So you can tweet that your questions at me, at ImportantMegan, M-E-A-G-A-N, or to the Indivisible Twitter account or Facebook. In the meantime, text IMPEACH to 977 Seven nine. We'll send you some more information and go to impeachnow.org. Thank you so much, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys.